Welcome to day seven. That tune you just heard is called the Swallowtail Jig, and you saw me play the melody and the chords. So we're going to play the chords together today. So let's check it out. Okay, today's a big day. We're playing with two full-size chords, the E minor and the D major. So there are four magic chords that guitar players know to play millions and millions of songs. Uh, they're G major, the full-size G, E minor, C, and D. Okay, so after today, you'll have really worked out uh, half of them. Okay, so that's really exciting. So we're playing this tune called the Swallowtail Jig, and we're going to be focusing on strumming and shifting between these two chords. Okay, this is one of the trickier things to do with uh, guitar playing in the beginning, and uh, we're going to do it today. Okay, so let's build our E minor chord first, and we'll practice that for a little bit. So start with your open E string, your low bass string, and then fret two of the A with finger number one, and then fret two of the D with finger number two. And that's all that we have to hold down, and we strum through all six. Okay, so do that with me. It's your full size E minor chord. Nice. Okay, so today I'm going to allow for a few buzzes and kind of thuddy sounding notes because we're going to really focus on jumping from this chord to the next chord. So if, if the chords aren't perfectly clear, um, that's okay. All right. We're just we're working on these little moves today. All right. So we did E minor. Let's go to the D major chord. So we're going to skip over the E, skip over the A, play the open D string. Okay, fret two of the G. And then finger number three will be on fret three of the B string. And then this one right here, finger number two, your middle finger comes down on fret two of the high E. Get to make room, get up on the tips of your fingers and strum through. Okay, don't worry if it kind of sounds like this. That's okay. All right, but I'm gonna give you a really good tip today on working uh, with your chords and, and how to get really good at them. So make the chord shape and visualize what this looks like. So to me, it looks kind of like a triangle. You have the, the tip of the triangle here and then these two fingers are on the same line. Okay, so what, what I do when I change between chords is I'm, say I'm on this E minor chord, right? And I need to go to the D. I imagine that chord shape in my mind's eye and as I go to it I start to make that formation with my fingers see and then they come down all at the same time just like that okay so that takes quite a bit of practice all right so you want to think of this shape drop it in and then start training our fingers to make this shape okay here's another thing we can do we'll make this D chord and imagine that our fingers are frozen Okay, and we're going to very slowly take them off of the strings and try to maintain the shape of that chord. So what's going to happen is your fingers are just going to want to uh, fly all over the place like that. Okay, so make the chord again, drop them in, and then pull them off. Try to maintain that shape the best you can. When you get really good, you'll be able to take the, the thing completely off the guitar neck, right? and make that little D chord shape and then bring it back in. Okay, so we're training our fingers to do these strange things they've never really done before, right? So there's our D chord. Good, let's go back to our E. We're just gonna practice shifting between these two chords for a little bit. Make your E minor. Good, now lift your fingers up. Imagine the shape of that D. Start to make your fingers into that shape and then drop them all in, and then when you're ready, strum it. Good. Let's do that a little bit faster now. Let's go back to our E minor, make the shape, press down, strum, strum again, lift it up, drop in your D chord, and then strum strum again. Good. Let's do that one more time. Back to E minor. 
good, strum it again. Come over to your D chord, imagine what you need to do, drop it in, strum this one just once, and then lift it up again and come back to E minor. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna play the chords to the Swallowtail Jig. We're gonna work on just the first half today, okay? Um, so if you like, watch my fingers really closely so you can see where they change, and then we'll do it together in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna count it in, and you can hang out and watch, and watch how this is done. I'll keep my strumming hand up here so you can see that uh, on the E minor chord, I'm strumming all six, okay? And on the D chord, I'm just strumming from the D down. All right, as you go through this lesson, you'll likely wanna just have all of your focus on your fretting hand, okay? And just trust that your pick is doing what it needs to do, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna play the chorus to Swallowtail, so let's give it a listen. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so you saw how it's done. Let's try it together now. I'm gonna count us in, get your E minor chord ready, and we'll play a little bit of Swallowtail, all right? One, two, ready, go. Switch to D. Lift, come back to E minor. Back to D, then E minor. One more time. Then D, then E minor, back to D, then E minor. All right, nice. So I would guess that felt a little frantic, getting changing between these two chords, okay? That's all right. So it is going to feel challenging, and I want it to so that you get better at this, okay? So um, I'm going to make it a little bit more simple now by uh, simplifying the chords, okay? So if you remember, we learned this chord called the E power chord, which is just your open E string and fret two of the A. So that simple little chord sounds really good in this tune, okay? So this time we're gonna play an E power chord instead of a full size E minor. Okay, just this little fella right here. And then instead of a D chord, we're gonna play a D power chord, and you play that like this. Open D string and fret two of the G. Okay, so this will be more of a challenge for your picking hand to make sure you, you're picking the right strings. On your fretting hand, all you're doing is you're jumping this finger from here over to here, fret two of the G. Okay? And you're doing that same exact move when you play the full size chords. Here, track my, uh, my first finger, watch where it, what it does. Here's E minor, and then over to D. Okay, so it's a simple little move. Uh, we're gonna try this. I think it's gonna feel a little bit easier than going between these two chords. And the good thing is it sounds really good too. Okay, so you can totally play this tune using power chords, all right? Okay, so let's try it together now. E power chord is first. One, two, ready, go. Now the D. Good, back to E. Then D to E again. Do it one more time, E, D. Back to E. Nice, okay, sweet. Let's try the full size chords one more time, and then I'll show you a cool little strumming thing we can do. Okay, get ready, full size E minor. You've got this one down. Visualize that D chord when we need to get to it. Do your best to keep up with me, and don't worry if the chord isn't perfect, okay? These will get better as the weeks go along, all right? 
Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Lift back to E minor. Lift to D. Then E minor one more time. Then to D. Nice job. Lift E minor. Then D. Then E minor. Nice job. Okay, I'm going to show you a really cool picking technique called the palm mute. So we're going to take this simple E power chord from sounding like this to this. Really cool, thick, chunky sound. It's good for all styles of music. If you're a rock and roll or heavy metal kid and you have your electric guitar loaded up with some distortion, this is gonna sound super chunky, okay? So all I did was I picked just normally on an E power chord, okay? You know how to play that right here, fret two on the A, right? That's all that's going on down there. I pick normally on this side, but I just lay the heel of my hand down on the strings very lightly. You don't want to smush into the strings because that'll just like really kill the notes, but you just want to have a nice light uh, touch of the heel of your hand on the strings, okay? And just pick like you normally would, and you get this palm mute sound. Okay, really cool, and it's gonna sound nice for this song, okay? Also a good way to kind of, uh, you know, vent a little bit of frustration if you were having some troubles on the other side with your fretting hand, okay? So you can get some energy out in this, uh, this exercise, okay? So let's make that E power chord together, all right? And we're just gonna fill in the beat with these strums, okay? So we're gonna go like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna pick in these little groupings of six, but we're gonna add that palm mute too. Okay, so check it out. We'll go. Try that with me. I'll count us in. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Let's try that on a D power chord, okay? So jump over to your D and your G strings. Remember on, your, on the other side, you gotta move your finger over to uh, G2, okay? Let's do that here. Here's our D power chord. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's go back to the E. The E's a lot easier, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. With the palm mute. Super chunky, super cool sounding. Jump it over to your D power chord. Good, back to the E. Over to the D for one group of six. Then back to the E. Okay, wanna try it with the song? We're gonna. We're gonna anyway. <laughs> so stick with me. Here we go, we're jumping back and forth between E power chord and D power chord. All right, with the palm mute thingy and filling in the beat. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, here we go. E. D. Back to E. And a D. E. One more time. D. E. Nice. All right. Okay. okay, cool. So maybe that felt a little frantic too, but hey, we have some good techniques today, right? We got some palm muting. 
just do that anytime. That's just a whole lot of fun. And we've got our full size chords jumping in between them. All right, cool. Nice job. Well, congratulations on finishing week one. I want to thank you so much for all the good work you've put in in these past seven days. Make sure you write in your guitar journal day seven and how many minutes you put in today. And I just want you to keep in mind going forward that you don't have to play perfectly to advance to the next day, okay? I'm giving you all kinds of uh, information and things to play with on the guitar, and I'm here to help you play daily and go through this whole course. And at the end of it, you can start again and review all of the tunes that we, we've played, okay? So um, it's, it's designed to uh, keep things fresh and um, keep you going and playing just a little bit every day so you become a better guitar player and have more fun with it. So thanks again, and I will see you tomorrow in day eight.